We can distinguish the electrical properties of each material through how it allows electron to flow into it. We have three materials that we're going to talk about in this video and the first on the list is the conductor. Conductor is any material that allows a generous flow of electron when a voltage source is being applied across its terminal. Take note that electrons will not be flowing through a conductor when there is no force or electromotive force that will push these currents across the material. So the conductors has less than four valence electrons. The most common types of conductors are silver, which has an atomic number of 47. We have the copper, which, in a, which is an atomic number of 29. Gold with 79 atomic number. Aluminum and iron with 13 and 26 atomic number respectively. If we are going to check the number of electrons per orbit of these materials listed here, we can see that all of them has a valence electrons of less than four. So how can we consider a material with less than four valence electrons a good conductor? It is in the sense that when we have less valence electrons, that means we have more free electrons that jumped out from the valence band to the conduction band. The next material that we are going to discuss is the insulator. And those are the materials uh, which offers a very low level of conductivity under pressure from applied voltage source. One of the characteristics of insulators is that it has more than four valence electrons. If we have more electrons which stays in the valence band, then there is less free electrons that will travel across the conduction band. And the most common type of insulators are paper, dry wood, plastic, rubber, mica. The next type of material is the semiconductor. So the electrical property of this particular material is somewhere in between of the conductor and the insulator. So it is the material uh, which has a conductivity of somewhere of the conductor and the insulator. So it acts as an insulator at absolute zero Kelvin and conducts at a room temperature. The same with the conductor. Semiconductor still allows current flow whenever a certain amount of voltage is being applied to its terminal. But uh, the, dif the difference is that uh, it has four valence electrons. So the most common material being used as a semiconductor is the silicon. And it is being used on the basic and most common electronic devices such as diodes, transistors, and integrated circuits. The other popular semiconductor being used is the germanium. But um, unlike the silicon, uh, germanium cannot be used extensively at, at, at environment where the temperature is quite high because it's very temperature sensitive and it does not give accurate results and accurate performance whenever the temperature is high. There are also types of semiconductors that are not pure. There are also compounds that are used as a semiconductor. The common is the gallium arsenide. Uh, in comparison with silicon, it needs less voltage and functions at higher frequencies because the charge carriers move faster. And one of the advantage of the gallium arsenide is that um, it is relatively immune 
to the effects of ionizing radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays.